we really have to show this part? Uh, all right, all right. Roger that. Hmm. Oh, we're live! What's up, Free Fire? Welcome to the latest episode of The Kelly Show! Raise your hand if you have the same problem as I do. You know, the problem where once you reach heroic or higher, there really isn't much left to do. Or if you're like Moko, who's climbing in gold, and you just feel like there's not enough payback for all that effort. We have just the solution for you. Overall, we've made quite some adjustments to the ranking system. For lower and mid ranks, not only do we provide a much clearer layout of all the ranks, you'll also receive more rewards for climbing, including limited time epic gun skins. For high ranks, we've redivided the tiers in Battle Royale to better represent their skill bands. Also, exclusive emotes are gifted for reaching Heroic and Master, so there are more places for you to show off your mastery now. We hope this will bring back the challenges along with the fun. And don't tell me you haven't been expecting this. In addition to the fresh rank rewards, ta-da! New CS Seasonal Gun Skin, the Golden M14. I bet it goes well with the rest of your collections. By the way, this was supposed to be confidential, but I can trust you, right? Want to see a sneak peek? Word on the street is we're going to have a new team-based 5v5 thrilling hand-to-hand -hand combat mode right here in our brand new map, El Pastello. Man, check out the view. As far as I'm concerned, we're definitely going on a vacay. Join us to design and create your own game in the hot summer heat. All Craftland features, previously exclusive on Free Fire Max, are now available on the original Free Fire. With customizable game rules, over 50 interactive items, and unique party modes to choose from, enjoy crafting your map from scratch and building a playground you can truly call your own. After you're done, don't forget to send me an invite. Okay, time for some in-game changes. We've received feedback on how smart pins are. Well, actually not that smart. <laughs> we hear you. Before, it was difficult to recognize the pins and the teammates who sent them, and players had to look extra carefully to find the locations marked by teammates. The old quick comm system made team coordination harder than necessary. What? I didn't do anything. It must be a technical malfunction. Let's not dwell on the details, people. <laughs> no, of course she never caught me. You're looking at the most talented high school track star of all time. <clears throat> now, we've combined regular markers with minimap ones so that all pins are organized and clear on your screen. We've arranged marker colors and added visual cues next to teammates who just marked the map to avoid any confusion. Along with that, you can now mark enemy locations even after you've fallen. We've made some other small changes for QOL as well. Remember to check out all of them in the upcoming patch notes. Have you ever wished you could spot a fancy shotgun from a mile away? I feel you. Now, powerful guns will light up in-game for your convenience. Level 1 Ultimate Weapons. Level 2 Ultimate Weapons. Level 4 Helmets, Armors, Airdrop Weapons. Level 3 Ultimate Weapons and upgraded airdrop weapons. Of course, this means that all your enemies will also be on the lookout for those glowing firearms, so stay alert and watch out for bait. Speaking from personal experience, some things are just too good to be true. <laughs> I can't wait to see the strats you guys come up with. Last but not least, firearms! Pew, pew. Who's ready for a new cutting edge sniper? Characterized by its great mobility, the M24 is a sophisticated and highly adaptable light sniper. With it, you'll be sure to rule Battle Royale in no time. Oh, I can already imagine your glorious cheers of triumph. Aim like a pro, survivors. In addition, here's the weapon adjustments for this season. Isn't it such a bummer when you go to buy level 3 armors and all your level 2 armors have to go to waste? Not anymore! 
Introducing the new Armor Upgrade System. Now, in order to make sure your hard-earned cash no longer goes down the drain, armors are upgradable via in-game shops. This feature allows for a more streamlined purchase experience and leaves room for more advanced strats in terms of cash management. That's it for me, guys. Whew, I can't remember the last time this show went so smoothly. As always, keep all your suggestions coming, survivors, and thanks for tuning in. Now that's a wrap. <sighs> Huh? Oh no! Mopo! I thought I told you to stop hacking into the studio! Hit me like.